Remarkable new technology is helping stroke patients restore their vision. The therapy works for the brain's ability to adapt and form new connections after severe injury or trauma. NBC5's Perry Peltz explains. This is Colleen Fratalone today. She's come a long way in the past two years. Usually every day I was, I know I was having headaches. And um, I just didn't think nothing of it. I thought it could have been from stress. I, you know, I just didn't, didn't think to go to a doctor. I figured that everything was okay. And the next thing I know, I woke up and I was in the hospital. She suffered an intracranial hemorrhage, or stroke, a vessel in her brain ruptured. The first thing that goes to my mind was, is she going to survive or am I going to lose her? She was in the hospital for about three months, but coming home was just the beginning. Colleen had to relearn everything, from walking to speaking. I'm trying to learn how to do different things, like read and um, it's a little tough, but eventually I'll get there too. I think I will. Two times a day, six days a week, Colleen sits down at this computer-like machine for therapy to restore her peripheral vision. You have to click on a mouse every time you see a light. And um, if you hear a lot of beeping, that means that you're missing it. While clicking, she's stimulating the brain cells, causing her visual impairment. The sessions are monitored remotely, and the patterns are changed regularly. It's a new approach. But previously, they had ways that would help people to adapt to their problem, but it wasn't addressing the problem itself. That's the basis for the therapy, that the brain has some plasticity and some ability to repair itself and develop new connections. Brain scans show new areas of the brain light up after treatment, and 70% of patients say it helps. To find out more about how vision restoration therapy works, go to NBC5i.com and check the health page for the topic of the month.